Hey guys, Bernice here, bringing you another high elo League of Legends match, and in this match, um, it's looking pretty good. Unfortunately, I've had to uh, start it from the three minute mark. That's literally the uh, smallest time I've been able to get. I've been refreshing the page uh, probably at least 20 times by now, and this is the closest game to the start I can possibly get. Um, the scores are still even, and the gold is pretty much even. Uh, I doubt there was an invade, because no one has obviously died. Um, and not too many health potions have been used, uh, other than the uh, jungle, of course. But I'm pretty sure that Shovana started on her red, and then she did her wraith camp, and maybe golems, and then worked up to wolves, and then blue. Uh, for a Mumu, I reckon he did his uh, blue, and then obviously went through the entire route, and then he's just gone and done golems. So not really much happening. At bot lane, we can see we have. Um, we have an Urgot, sorry, who is going to be using that Corrosive Charge Acid Hunter, which is really good because he's paired with a Soraka. Now, Soraka, obviously using that Infuse to give him a lot of mana, uh, giving him enough mana to absolutely spam the Acid Hunter to his heart's content and get some serious damage down onto that vein. But we see on the other side, we've got a vein and a Janna. Now, that is CC Heaven right there. Um, pretty much all they need to kill one particular person would be uh, a Janna Tornado. And then in the right positioning, a condemn from Vayne to get the stun. But yeah, so that's the matchup in bot lane. We have a, a Cassiopeia versus a Nevia. Um, Cassiopeia probably going to be winning in the early game there uh, due to her massive pushing. But I'm sure a Nevia can bring it back around level 6 when she gets her ulti. And we see a top lane. We have a Warwick versus a Singed. Um, so yeah, very strong top laners, I suppose. So we'll see, have to see what happens, but uh, yeah, let's begin. Where's the run for the go. Okay, so as I did say, we see at the bottom we got Urgot and we got Soraka here, and um, I actually know the camera wants to go mid, but um, yeah, Cassiopeia uh, and Anivia, both very strong champions, but Anivia with that pretty much sustainable stun there. We see a top lane, Warwick and Sin sort of just dealing some damage, but Shyvana coming in from behind with a blue buff. There goes the exhaust. Can they pick up the kill? Warwick was just too far away, so they can't pick up that kill. Very unfortunate. Um, if Warwick had been a little bit closer, they probably could have picked that up. Uh, Soraka taking a bit of damage there from Vayne. Not too much. But as I was saying, uh, Anivia obviously having that long range stun. As long as she can get that long range stun, she can deal some massive damage with her frostbite. Flash Frost uh, definitely needs to be hitting there, and then when she gets her ulti, she can do that pretty much constantly and also get amazing fun. There goes Shavana up top again. Can they pick up this kill? They're going for the dive. Can they get it? Singe knocking her into the turret, but then Nevio, uh, Shavana will go down. However, First Blood is going to go to Warwick, so it's giving Warwick a massive lead, and Shavana definitely sticking around that top lane for a long time. She was, um, I'm guessing she really wanted that First Blood onto that Singe, so much so that she would turret there for it, but, uh, Unfortunately, Singe did also pick up a kill, however, Warwick does have that first blood 400 gold. So, we'll see what he goes and gets with that. And, uh, possible gank coming in here from a Mumu. Sort of sitting at the side, waiting to get that bandage toss onto that Cassiopeia. There goes the bandage toss, but there goes the flash from Cassiopeia to dodge that. Very unlucky for Red Team. There we, we see Soraka getting caught out a bit. No, she'd be fine. Vayne backing away a little bit there before she could get the true damage off. Uh, but simple heal from Soraka. It is no problem. Here we see uh, Urgot going onto Vayne. The, the exhaust goes down. The Acid Hunter. Can he get off a few more Acid Hunters to pick up the kill? No. We can get one more, but so close. Uh, just, just not doing enough damage there. Um, how unlucky. that so many heals saving her life. However, Mumu coming down here. We, it's going on to Soraka. Oh, and we see in the mid lane, Anivia going on to Cassiopeia. Can't quite pick up the kill. Cassiopeia sitting there on like 1 HP. Here we see Shyvana coming in for the counter gank on Amumu. The Acid Hunter going off, trying to pick up the kill on Amumu, but it's just not going to be able to do the job. It's 3 down in bot lane that are pretty much low HP. Very unlucky. Now we see the top lane, nothing particularly happening there, but we do see some blue pings going on to Anivia. Cassiopeia pretty much requesting help there. He's getting pushed back a little bit by this Anivia. So Anivia is showing the true power of Anivia. Just hope it's not Frogon in disguise. 
Sylvain getting some massive damage on Urgot there, but Urgot turning around, trying to bring it back. There goes the <laughs> the Soraka Banana, managing to pick up the kill on Vayne and Urgot, managing to pick up the kill on Jana, and just as that happened, Shyvana went into mid lane and picked up the kill on Anivia. That's three kills straight away for blue team. Uh, that Soraka with that flash and that banana, just uh, absolutely dominating that and picking up the kill, thankfully. And Elga also picking up the kill on Janna. And um, we see Sin sort of running around Warwick's minions, even though they're at his turret. But uh, he's trying to get the most farm he possibly can. See Warwick actually needing to go back, so Shyvana's going to have to gonna have to defend this lane, which is not very good because it means that Shyvana can't gank. So we'll see what Amumu does in this time. In actual fact, is that Anivia going back or coming back? No, she's coming back. So uh, Amumu free to gank now. Um, or is it Warwick's going to stay there? I think Warwick's actually going to stay in lane. And I'm pretty sure... I think they're trying to organize a gank here. However, there is a red ward down there. So Singe not going to be fooled by that again. Um, unluckily for blue team. You see both people on bot lane back again. Fight can continue. Acid Hunter, a free Acid Hunter, still getting the hit there. Doing absolutely insane damage from Urgot right now. And he's just, he's not even using his corrosive charge. He's literally just using Acid Hunter as a skill shot. And doing incredible amounts of damage to both Bane and Janna. Those, that first kill that he must have picked up must have really paid off. He does, of course, have his Brutalizer plus his auto attacks, giving him some insane armor penetration. Let's see, Cassiopeia still getting pushed back a little bit. And despite what I said in the in the beginning, he's getting pushed back quite a bit. Even before Anivia is level 6, which is quite surprising, really. Uh, but we see Singe going onto Warwick, flinging back into the poisons, but Warwick is going to flash out there and be safe. No problem there. We see Amumu actually coming through the brush. Is he going to go on to Urgot? Can he get the bandage toss? He does get the bandage toss. There goes the knock up. There goes the ulti from Amumu. Can they pick up this kill on Urgot? There goes the exhaust. So many things being blown here. But there goes the teleport onto uh, onto Amumu, I believe that was. And uh, it's just not enough. How is Shavala coming down here easily picking up the kill on Bane? Uh, but will she be able to pick up the kill on Amumu? Dragon Form has been popped. Uh, Amumu flash. Probably going to save him after that. Uh, but will Shyvana? Shyvana not actually turning back onto Jana. Could have maybe picked up a, a kill there as well. Uh, but the one problem with Shyvana is that she doesn't really have a slow. So you need, you're need you very reliant on red buff. You really need that red buff uh, to be able to perform those really good ganks. So you can slow the target and just continue doing constant damage onto them. Only thing you've got really a Shyvana is exhaust after that. And here comes a gank. There goes the ulti from Cassiopeia, but unfortunately <laughs> Anivia's back was turned. So it only did the slow effect, but it's still more than enough to take down Anivia after a couple of seconds. And it looks like now this Cassiopeia is going to get the very well-deserved blue buff. We now see the score. It's actually 6-3. to three. Blue team definitely getting a lot of kills here. And uh, no one going for Dragon yet, which is very odd. We really need to go ahead and kill either Vayne or Janna. Um, or Anivia would have worked, but they were getting blue. And then after that, just go and get that blue buff, uh, that dragon. And get some AoE gold for the team. Soraka being a bit aggressive here, taking a lot of damage. Uh, Acid Hunter, uh, Corrosive Charge rather. Not being aimed particularly well, but oh well. And um, he's trying to get some cheeky Acid Hunters off. Uh, See if we can do some damage, and there goes the, there goes the corrosive charge. This is going to be a lot of damage onto Vayne. And look at that, already half life. But there goes the condemned. No, it's just not going to pick up the kill. She's not doing enough damage yet. See Warwick and Singeton. In fact, we switch back to bot lane, and Urgot taking masses of damage. However, there goes the heal, and Vayne will go down. But they'll kill each other simultaneously with their last two auto attacks. Uh, it's just the two supports now in bot lane. See who wins this fight. You see at top lane, Sin still being pretty much dominant in this top lane. Warwick taking a lot of damage from those poisons. However, now he's going on the offensive. Going to do a lot of damage to Singed. Singed popping his ulti there. And there goes the ignite as well. There goes the ulti from Warwick actually. 
Can he die from poisons though? Uh, Warwick ulti just not enough. There goes the slow. Warwick turning around to get some health back. There, the fling into the poisons and he is dead. Uh, very unlucky for Warwick. He needed that bit more damage and he probably could have killed Singe. It's going to be a, a nice kill to Singe the top lane. See uh, Vayne and Urgot both back into their respective lanes. No ward coverage though. Blue team does have a ward but red team no ward coverage. I think that's where Jana's going at the moment. In fact, no, she's going to ward the tribush there. Which means you could potentially uh, come around and go through the little bush to come for a gank. I don't know if that would work though. There goes Urgot being really offensive. Trying to get as much damage on Vayne as he can. You're getting that long range Acid Hunter and another long range Acid Hunter. We look, Vayne now on Half Life and Janna not doing too well herself neither. And here comes a Moomoo actually coming in from behind. Probably going to go into the bush again for that gank. From that bush gank uh, in the lane. There he, there he is. Janna going in for the bait here, knocking back Soraka. A Moomoo coming in, getting the exhaust. However, just get the stun on Soraka. There goes the ulti. Uh, Urgot does manage to kill Janna. Soraka still surviving. There goes the swap onto uh, Vayne. Uh, the corrosive charge missing. If he'd probably hit that, he would have been fine. But uh, he, his acid hunter accidentally hits a minion instead, and he does go down. A very unfortunate placement of the corrosive charge. But there goes Anivia, and she does go into reg form. Javana having to dragon to get the kill. Uh, but there, Cassiopeia tanking the turret, doing as much damage as she can, and she does manage to pick up the kill before Anivia is resurrected. So that is Egg form down on Anivia, and she is also another death, uh, so it's going to be a lot easier to gank now. See Warwick, the way from warding up there, definitely need the uh, the wards, and Warwick pinging it just to say that there is a ward in that bush. Do not come in from there. But there is wards in both bushes, uh, so not really much chance of a gank. Um, Singe knows that he can pretty much dominate this lane. As long as he doesn't get ganked, he should be fine. He's actually running down there to try and pick up um, minion farm, of all things. Uh, but now he's uh, having to run into that little tri bush there. And Warwick chasing a Singe, not the best idea. And the two supports fighting over the ward, uh, but Soraka does get the ward down. She does have that oracles. Very early oracles, only 13 minutes in, uh, but very good for taking down that ward. However, here comes a Mumu. There goes the exhaust onto Urgot. Can Soraka get out of this with the oracles? Don't think she can, but there goes the condemned onto Urgot. He's getting stunned massively. Vayne doing absolutely some insane amounts of damage. Soraka getting killed there, but there goes the Anivia coming in from mid lane, picking up the kill on Urgot. Now, bot lane. Tides have turned a little bit here. Vayne and Janna was getting, were getting dominated. But now, uh, seems to have changed. Ganks rolling in quite frequently on bot lane. There goes the, sw <laughs> there goes the pull onto Cassiopeia. This has to be a kill here. But she flashes over the, the wall. Uh, can Singe pick up the kill? I don't think he can. He's gonna fling her back, and there goes the kill. But there goes the Warwick ulti onto Singe underneath the turret. He's gonna tank that like a boss, and they're gonna get out of that alive. Cassiopeia dying, uh, of course, to Singed, having to waste her flash to flash over the Anivia wall. Still not making it out. And this is going to be a free dragon for Red Team. They have no one, Blue Team really have no one to contest at the moment, other than Shyvana, and uh, Dragon unfortunately resetting there. Good job, uh, Red Team. But uh, Shyvana may be going, nope, Shyvana is just going to do golems. They realize that this blue is gone. Um, this dragon is gone. In fact, I don't even, I'm not even sure if they realize it because there is no wall coverage. So it is a free, free dragon, which is uh, not very good for blue team. Because now red team definitely in the lead of gold. We do have one more kill, and they also have a, another dragon as well on top of that. But uh, Warwick, can he do significant damage to this turret? He's just gonna farm. Looking like he's just gonna farm. Uh, definitely don't want to kill that turret too early, or else you're just sort of gimping yourself out. You're not getting enough farm. You want to get the maximum amount of farm you possibly can from that top lane, then destroy it, and then go roaming. Best way to do things at the moment. If we look at the CS, actually, odd thing of seeing. Anivia actually on 100 farm, but Cassiopeia on 144. 
Nevi getting absolutely dominated in terms of uh, CS uh, and in terms of kills. She is on one to three. See Vayne only on uh, 68 farm and Urga only on 83. There's very low, low farms for the. Um, for some reason, getting knocked back. The switch did not happen. I've never seen that before. I've never seen the fact that she's been knocked so far away that the switch didn't happen. That's that's very odd. Uh, but Shavana did get caught out by that ward, unfortunately. Uh, I reckon John had a sneaking suspicion that there may be someone in that bush. Vayne uh, going on to Soraka. Soraka having a flash, but there goes the flash from John of the tornado, the ulti from Amumu. And that is going to be Soraka dead, no doubt about it. Um, Urgot trying to get the kill on Janna there, but just not enough damage it seems. Uh, he had a lot of damage early game, but he's getting he's getting nerfed a little bit now. Uh, there goes the ulti from Janna to knock back into the wall. Exhaust going on to Urgot, and Urgot is down. And Shavana can't really do anything. Cassiopeia and Anivia are coming down to help out this bot lane. But uh, not much Cassiopeia can really do at the moment. She can get a nice ulti on that. It can, pretty, it can really turn the tides of pretty much any fight. You see Vayne uh, picking up that early zeal actually instead of instead of picking up a bloodthirster or an affinity edge straight off. She's actually going to go for a zeal um, first. Probably need more attack speed to keep up with her. Got. You see Singed, his mid lane, sort of just farming up some creeps, and Warwick trying to get back desperately, um, but Singed is sort of not allowing him to. Singed farming away in that lane, uh, now beating Warwick and farm by about 10 now, so it's not that big of a difference. Warwick should even most of it out in those minions left there. Yeah, 129, 136, only 7 difference. Cassiopeia going really aggressive onto this Anivia. Doing about half her life. It's absolutely insane. If we just uh, check on this Anivia, she does have her egg up, so that's one thing. She can rebirth, she can come back and do some more damage. Um, of course, if she isn't killed in her egg form before then. So if we look at the scores, we've actually got a Mumu on 5 0 3. This Amumu is getting fed. This Amumu is getting so much money. He already has this Sunfire Cape, but. um. He's picking up a lot of kills, which uh, personally don't think is the best thing uh, for an Amumu to do. It is always good to have someone fed, um, but feeding your carries, feeding your mid, feeding your bot lane, uh, even feeding your top lane is far more better. It'll do far more damage. It does mean that your team is a little bit more tankier though. And there goes the ulti on Cassiopeia onto Singed and the exhaust trying to pick up the kill. Managed to pick up the kill on Singed, shutting him down. The Moomoo coming in, realizing it's a bad idea, trying to run away. There goes the Miasma from Cassiopeia, doing as much damage as she can with the Twin Fang. There goes the Q again, and picks up the kill. Um, Cassiopeia obviously having a ridiculous amount of burst damage, of uh, sustained damage rather. And uh, this is this going to be a Baron for Blue Team? Uh, we see the charge going on to Vayne, but she is going to tumble out of it, and then. Uh, Urgot still getting stunned even though he did flash and uh, he is going to go down. Uh, how is the Baron going? Uh, Baron almost dead. But the problem is is, ba is uh, Janna and Vayne were both caught down in bot lane with this Urgot while Soraka was free to go up anywhere and so that is a free Baron for blue team which is uh, definitely turned the tides. Uh, there goes the ulti onto Anivia from Warwick but Anivia does flash getting out of there. Uh, there goes the dragon form and then she does go into egg, all Cassiopeia needs to do is maximum damage and then they do take that egg down before she comes back. So that's another kill on Anivia. Um, as I said, definitely turning the tides. Uh, red team did pick up that dragon firstly. However, blue team now having that Baron buff and the 300 gold you get from it is absolutely insane. Janna definitely going down there thanks to the exhaust from Soraka I believe. Um, Definitely showing that supports should really be picking up exhaust. Uh, supports have pretty much, I have barely seen uh, a support pick up clairvoyance nowadays. Uh, clairvoyance, not really the best summoner spell for a support I found. It's pretty much 10 times better to pick up a um, an exhaust, a ghost maybe, probably not though. 
you know, just a summoner smell that helps your team. It helps your bot lane carry. Uh, it's very good to pick up those summoner spells. Clairvoyance is alright because it's definitely good for noticing when they are doing Dragon, when they're doing Baron, if you can uh, guess where the enemy jungle is, if you want to check a bush, all those things. But all those things can also be covered by wards, which is what support lies anyway. You shouldn't really, if you, if you ward Baron, for example, and let's say red team had warded Baron and blue team went and did Baron, then red team would know that blue team was doing baron. If blue, if red team had destroyed the ward of baron, blue team would still know they're probably doing baron. Might not be, they would determine the situation. There goes the stun from Cassiopeia picking up the easy kill on Janna and red team are going to retreat and neither will blocking them off. But yeah, you would be able to pretty much guess with their team layout if they were going to do baron or not, if they're strong enough to. There goes the exhaust and the switch, but there goes the flash and they're going to easily pick up this kill. Um, Soraka actually picking up the kill and the shutdown. And that's another, that's the first dragon for blue team. So it's one for one in terms of dragons. But of course, blue team having that Baron buff, it's even more gold for them. There goes the ulti from Warwick. That's another kill on the Nivea. Easily. Uh, corrosive charge, not even needing to hit. Just a simple acid hunter was enough to kill her. But, um, Urgot doing some pretty insane damage. Getting that Mana Mune up. Uh, so he's definitely going to be spamming those abilities. There goes the Corrosive Charge onto Janna. Not being able to pick up enough damage really onto that. He took a bit more damage from the turret. Uh, there goes Shavana coming in from behind. Trying to pick up the kill on Janna, but going back. The team was destroying the turret at the time, not actually following up. Makes sense. See a move. Can he get a bandage toss on someone? You don't really. It's not the best idea to go in. It is a four v three, and they do have Baron. This would be the worst time to initiate. And Cassiopeia just beside the wall there. So we actually see Singed running in like a madman. No, he's gonna go to the left. Uh, he was sort of. I don't know what he was doing, but he was uh, running up mid lane towards the enemies, which is very weird. But uh, okay. I hope it works for Singed. <laughs> we do see, uh, we do actually see Cassie appear with blue buff. She did pick it up from their spawn of blue buff. It's uh, very good for blue team, but very bad for red team. And even not having that blue buff I means she can't spam her abilities as much. Um, oh, and the amazing silence there by Soraka, meaning Singed could not knock Soraka up into his poisons and the rest of his team. A <laughs> very, very nice play by Soraka. Knowing what the champion does and when to silence, when is the best moment to use that, and that simply was. See a Mumu actually picking up the oracles there. Uh, they definitely, what red team needs to be focusing on now is less on team fights due to the fact that they do have Baron, but more on objectives. Uh, they need to start getting those Barons, start getting those dragons, start getting those buffs, and then they want to go into a team fight. The more money they can globally get on their team, the better. They are behind about 5,000 gold at the moment, which is a pretty sort of big amount. It's not that big. It's about 1,000 gold per person, but then again, 1,000 gold could be the difference between the Infinity Edge. Um, but there goes Shyvana going on to Zumumu, who bandage tossed the wrong person. Um, and he, he's actually getting walled in here, Shyvana having to jump over the wall, uh, but Singed sort of, uh, I think Singed might have DC'd there. He was just sort of auto attacking Warwick there. So I don't know what was happening. I think he knew that he was already dead so he didn't really bother. Oh, okay, never mind he did DC. Uh great. Thank you for ruining my um my cast for your UDC and Gah people these days. Shavana jumping into the back here, going onto a move, getting the exhaust down. He she is getting absolutely dominated. There goes the reverser from Urgot, but he, it's not actually reversing anything. Uh Jana taking a lot of damage and getting killed by Soraka again. Um, the Soraka KS and everything. But again, the uh, the switcher did not actually um, did not actually switch whoever he was targeting. It was very odd. It's been happening quite a lot this game. 
see the Anivia ulti trying to do as much damage as they can to Warwick. Warwick a bit too tanky at the moment. Warwick having um, the double Darns, Spirit's Passage, and the, uh, not the Frozen Heart, but the Glacial Shroud, that was it. So he's a, he's a bit tanky. And he does, uh, he has quite a lot of damage as well. Spirit's Passage, very nice for a Warwick, giving him that extra healing from his, uh, his abilities. Are they going to jump on this vein now? Will the ulti go out? The ulti goes out and then there goes the Corsive Charge, the Acid Hunter. She is dead. No way she's going to out of that. Um, Warwick ulti. Just too strong. Locking in players there. And just really catching people out. This Urgot is doing masses of damage now. He's actually got his uh, Frozen Heart. So it means on blue team there is going to be a double Frozen Heart. So I feel sorry for Vayne there. And uh, Mana Mune and Brutalizer also on Urgot. See how much he stacked as Mana Mune. He's actually got 764 out of uh, 1000 maximum mana on his Mana Mune. So that's going to give him a ton of AD advantage. And it's actually granting him 52 attack damage, which is uh, quite a bit. And we see they're going to go for this Baron kill. It's going to be pretty much uncontested. Maybe Jana can get a whirlwind. Nope. She wards it a bit too late. Um, so that is going to be just a free dragon for blue team. Uh, Baron, rather. They couldn't really defend it. They did need to defend their lanes more than actually defend the objective. Which is very unlucky for them because now blue team does have the second Baron. An extra 300 gold to buy what they want. And that Baron buff giving them the extra attack damage and ability power be very devastating if they do get into a fight, which they're gonna have to. And they're really delaying this fight, but they're gonna have to eventually get into a fight with Blue Team. And I'm not sure it's gonna turn out the way they want. See Nevia, what's Nevia have? Nevia having the Rod of Ages, the Blasting Wand, Tear of Goddess, uh, Chalice of Harmony, and Sork Boots. Uh, Chalice of Harmony, she hasn't had a blue buff this game, I don't believe. Uh, she might have had one actually in the, the 4 to 20 minute mark, but um, I haven't seen a blue buff on her. So Chalice of Harmony, definitely a good uh, item to get to get that mana regen. There goes the ulti onto Anivia. That is Anivia dead. Oh no, she flashes away. There goes the wall. She will get out of this. Fine. One more. Just not enough to take down Anivia. Unless, no, it was enough. She did go into egg form. Uh, so that's egg form down. So there goes the damage onto Cass, Cass using her ulti, not really picking up anyone there. You said heard the sound effect of her ulti. What's happening up here? Oh, got sort of poking away a Mumu, uh, poking away a Nevia. But it's not looking too good for Red Team at the moment, I must say. Uh, there goes the stun, missing everybody there. Uh, there goes Australia's revelry. So they wanna, they wanna kill Red Team. They wanna get the high priority targets down and then win the game. However, now the Nexus is open. There goes the ulti onto Shyvana. Vayne going down to Soraka again. Soraka chaosing everything. Cassiopeia taking down Janna there. And that is GG. There's pretty much no way they can come back from this. Uh, singed. Unfortunately, did DC. I'm not sure if he, if he rage quit or if he just simply left. But um, that is game two blue team. Congratulations blue team. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this cast. Um, please tell me what I've done wrong, and please be brutal, um, and I'll see you all next time.